Huge shout out to our friend Frenchie from our DTS who gave us money to be able to buy these matching vans. You're the best, bro. Love you. So I just tried filming this over by the Canadian Embassy, which is right next to the tent, and apparently it's illegal to film on international ground. And so I moved over here by the Court of Appeals right now, and I'm gonna film here instead. Okay, so I'm gonna explain something to you. If you've been on our website, if you've been on our YouTube channel, or if you were paying attention a couple seconds ago when the intro was playing, you would notice that it no longer says Team Longstreet. Instead, it says A Tale of Two Streets. The reason for that is because we were sitting around as a media team one day and I threw out the idea that I wanted something more creative for our vlog, something more creative for our website. And so we were all throwing out ideas of what we could call us. And one of the ideas was A Tale of Two Streets. It kind of came from A Tale of Two Cities, but we wanted it to be kind of like a play on words and we wanted it to still have some aspect of our name in it. So that's kind of the story of why we changed our name. And another shout out has to go to Kim Zapita, who gave us the idea of A Tale of Two Streets. So thank you, Kim. You're awesome. Fun fact. This is what my hair actually looks like when it's all combed out. It's raining so hard that we have a flash flood in the road. Hey babe, what are we doing today? The vlog is just full of new hairdos for me. We're going shopping. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> so we're going shopping in this big four-story mall um, looking for new clothes. We're cooking family dinner. They're like little muffins, but they're churro donut holes. That's really good. So it's Friday and we wanted to do something together since most of the vlogs are probably going to be me taking videos and me talking and showing different things that we're doing. And so we wanted to do something together since this is our vlog. And so every week we're going to sit down on Fridays and take a video and just kind of talk about the last week and talk about what good things happened and just 
end the vlog on a positive note. What was your favorite part out of this week or something that you really liked or something positive? I think my favorite part of this week. I started with, I was, in, I was kind of like over here. So it's okay, go. My favorite part is that we're matching today. My favorite part is probably date night every week. Date night is always a good night of spending time together, quality time, because that is one of our top love languages. Um, just spending quality time with each other, going out to dinner, going for walks, going shopping, sitting in the car, whatever it is, as long as I'm with my man. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed doing date night this week too, um, as with every other week. But I would say my favorite part of this week has to do more on my spiritual side. Recently, for like the last month or so, I've been kind of struggling with a little bit of doubt and not completely trusting in God, not completely having faith that He provides. I'm just having having doubt. And this past week, I kind of got revelation of that and just kind of started getting out of it. And the way I explained it to people was I was kind of stuck in this sinking sand with an apple in front of me and I was trying to reach this apple and it was kind of like the things that I wanted and like I wanted to have more faith and wanted to trust God more. So that was kind of my apple and I was kind of stuck in the sinking sand and every time I would try to reach at this apple I would just sink deeper and I would get farther away from what I wanted to be and I talked to Jason Hershey, the founder, here and just had a conversation about all of that. and. He just kind of told me that maybe I need to stop trying to get out and maybe I need to instead sink down and die to myself and surrender. And that kind of hit me and so for the last few days since, since I talked to him about it, I've been working on that and it's definitely going to be a process of dying to myself and surrendering my all to Jesus and surrendering everything that I have to God and just giving up all of my rights. And it was definitely a milestone this week, so that was probably my favorite part of this week. And I feel like I'm coming back out of it. I feel like I'm growing more in faith and in trust in God. So, yeah, it was a good week. We also wanted to end these vlogs on a positive note and encourage and inspire you guys to keep going in your faith and keep persevering through whatever comes at you. And so I got this app, it's called Daily Inspirations. And this one was from this past Monday. It says, trust because you are willing to accept the risk, not because it's safe or certain. It's a good word. Live by that. <laughs>